Hello friends. Today I would like to show you how my friend, almost nine and a half year old, Pomona, knows how to pollinate. She pollinated first about half a year ago and it worked. The plants are, the seeds from the pollination are already growing, but she didn't want that time to be on a video. She didn't want me to make a video of her pollinating, but today she was reading something and came uh, to an award. What was the word? I forget now. What was the word? Pomona, do you remember? Exotic. Oh, yeah, exotic. <laughs> and she asked me, what does the exotic mean? And I told her that, well, the exotic could mean like an exotic country, faraway country you've never been to before and wish to go there maybe once. Or it could be exotic plant, like when she crossed two different flowers and the seeds produce different flower, plant with different flower. And she agreed to show how she's doing it. Now, when I was doing it, when I was showing it to her many times when she was small, I used the magnifier that goes on ahead like this to see the pollen and the stigma. But uh, with her eyes, she says she can see better without magnifier. So, without a further ado, I'll show you. This is going to be one of the flowers that she selected. Multi-petal white. And she wants to cross it with one of these flowers. Multi-petal reddish. So, Pomona, you can start. You can start peeling the petals. You need to hurry, take your time. I can always speed up the video. If and then you'd needed. sound super funny. I'm sorry? And then you'd sound super funny. Yeah, yeah, if I speed up video and there is a talk, then it's super funny, so <laughs> that's true. So now she has a good peak to pry open what looks like a pistons, but in case of adeniums, those are not pistons. It, the base of these things are actually covering the inner part of flowers. So to get... The camera is right on my head. To, sorry, the camera is tickling you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe I go from the other side then. Wetted. Okay, now. Oh, you didn't open the other flower. I can hold it for you. You forgot. Okay, so here she has pollen. And I don't know if I can sharpen. You can see here the pollen. And she's opening another flower. Oops. That doesn't matter. The rest one, one of the red ones. Gently. The other one was so old, she touched it, it fell off. That's what happens once the adeniums are too old. Uh, adenium flowers, I mean. They fell off once you start peeling petals. Well, that's a sign that you cannot use it really.
You want this? Oh, you have that. So this pollen you're putting on the white flower, yeah? Oh, you're still opening that part, you see. I got it. Okay, so you're putting it there. I don't know if I can show it on camera. Meanwhile, I'm holding the pollen from a white flower. Here it is. That you can put on a stigma of that flower. And stigma is right below the part where adenium has a pollen of its own. Had a pollen, she took it. Okay. So now, even small amount pomona would work because it contains many tiny, whiny pollens. So now here is the stickers to close it because we have a moth that comes at night, at night and pollinates on its own and creates not interesting plants, random plants. These are carefully selected by almost nine and a half year old Pomona and her almost nine and a half year old brother Lau. No, he isn't. Yeah, he is. In May he's four, no? Not almost nine and a half. Oh, I'm sorry. Almost four and, four and a half year old. What am I talking about? Brother Lau. Mm -hmm. I think I'll pick up some of this. Yeah, it's hard to tape with too many petals. In summer, I'm also taping it because of a sun drying stigma too fast. But right now we have a beginning of rainy season, so the reason is only. All right, Pomona. Dear friends, this is the end of Pomona's demonstration how to cross-pollinate to adeniums to create exotic plants. And that's the end of this video. Until next time, goodbye. Did you turn it off yet? No, should I? Yeah. Okay, bye-bye.